Hi, it's Jackie. Um, I'm filming my supper that I made today. Stuffed green peppers. I don't know if you can see it. Stuffed green peppers. Now I'll have one like that for supper and I'll put that in the freezer and put that in the freezer and that'll be uh, my supper. Now these are some books I got. These are some books I got. One at the store and one as a gift. Read it and eat. It was only four ninety nine. Regular twenty eight dollars. Now it's a different book because they have um, recipes that go with the book. For instance, The City of Joy by Dominique Lapierre, a non-fiction docu-novel published in 1985, The City of Joy traces the lives of three men living in a slum in Calcutta, India, a priest, a young American doctor from a privileged background, and an Indian man forced to leave his farm due to drought and with his family in tow to live on the streets. Personal sacrifice and poverty in their most extreme forms recounted here touched me deeply. And the human kindness and exuberance of the slums inhabitants overwhelmed me, to say the least. The vivid images and heartfelt stories are so poignant and memorable that after reading the book, for the first time, they lingered in my mind for years. The City of Joy hopefully will make you rethink your daily complaints and aggravations and give you a renewed sense of gratitude about your life. I recommend that you read the foreword and the afterword as well. They will enhance your group's discussion as well as your understanding of the text. And if you'd like to learn more about the City of Joy organization, check out cityofjoy.org. It's both heartening and sobering to look at the pictures of the children and adults that this charity serves. And then they have topics up for discussion. And then the recipes. An Indian celebration. There's a lot of celebrating in the city of joy, despite circumstances that would lead you to assume otherwise. And Lapierre's description, descriptions of the fragrant and delicious food served at these celebrations are vivid enough to make your mouth water. Here's a savory Indian menu complete with chapatis, the flatbread described throughout the novel. Chapatis. So they have the recipe. How to make it. Spinach dal. Sounds good. Garam masala. Garam masala is is like uh, yeah, curry, coriander, and cardamom. It's not strong. I've had it. You would think it's strong, but it's not strong spice. What else do they have? So you see, it's all books and recipes. Oh. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Brown. 
this seemingly innocent book, the first in the Harry Potter series, ranks number seven on the most challenged lists for promoting Satanism and the occult, and also for anti-family themes. Despite such objections, I love the entire Harry Potter series, named it for its far-fetched setting and action-packed storylines. And I'm not alone. Judging from its phenomenal success, success, according to the BBC, the books in the Harry Potter series have been translated into more than 47 languages and have sold over 100 million copies. 49% of those sold in the United States. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix sold over 1 million copies in the United Kingdom alone on its first day of sales, making it the fastest selling book in history. In terms of the book's adversaries, I suppose we are dealing with the age-old powerful fear of witchcraft. Remember Salem, Massachusetts? The book is about kids learning to be witches and wizards. So the question is, is it simply fun and creative or does it really promote Satanism? You be the judge. Let's take a look at what makes this book and the rest of the series so widely popular. And then they have the topics up for discussion. And recipes. Let's see what the recipes are. <laughs> Dinner at the Leaky Cauldron. While shopping in Diagon Alley for your robes, wand, and other Hogwarts necessities, you may work up quite an appetite. If you decide to replenish yourself at the Leaky Cauldron, though, beware of shady dragon egg dealings and discussions regarding you-know-who. Cottage or shepherd's pie has been a traditional family meal in England and Scotland for centuries. It's also very popular in taverns and pubs. Many cottage pies. the recipe crispy cabbage salad mm. Hagrid's Potent Potion. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Goes on. Topics. Fish from the Mighty Mississippi. Riverboat Catfish. And so it goes on like that. Now this book I have, my sister gave it to me. I don't know why she gave it to me. Grandma's best friend. She thinks, she thinks of me like her grandma or something. It's both. And um, so that's me and part of my recipe books, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Take care.